Hello everyone and welcome to my mini lecture series. Uh, this is the first lecture in this series. Okay. And uh, our topic is basically going to be what is the difference between a virus, a virion and a viroid. Okay. So let's start. Now, now let us write down the first two words that I used. Virus. Okay. And virion. See the thing is these two words get confused a lot. Okay. So many people interchange the word. Some people only use the word virus. So let's just get down to the basics. What is the main difference? So a virion is basically a complete virus. Okay. So a virion is a complete virus having proteins plus genetic material. Okay. And a virion is a virus which has not yet infected the cell. It is outside the cell. For example, if coronavirus is present outside the body, if it is present in the air, then it is called as a virion because it has still not infected anyone. Once that coronavirus enters the cell and that is the infective stage, then that stage is called as the virus. So I will write it down over here. Virus is the infective stage inside the cell okay so i hope you have understood what is the difference between a virion and a virus okay so a virion will have proteins it will also have the genetic material and it has not yet entered the cell okay the virulence has not yet begun the pathogenicity has not yet been caused so that is called as the virion stage whereas when it enters the cell so only the dna might enter or the entire unit of virus may enter when it enters the cell and it causes pathogenicity then it is called as a virus is this clear now let us come to the third word which is called as viroid okay so what is a viroid so a viroid basically doesn't have any protein surrounding it it doesn't have any capsid it is just made up of single stranded rna got the point okay and viroids basically cause diseases in higher plants okay so that is the main difference between a virus a virion and viroid so if somebody asks you out of these three which is the smallest obviously the answer is viroid because it is just a single stranded rna that is it it is not having any protein covering what is a virion a virion is a full virus okay so if i want to take the example of a bacteriophage then a bacteriophage having capsid and the genetic material that complete structure is called as a virion whereas when that bacteriophage injects the dna inside the e coli then that injected dna is called as the virus so infective stage is called as virus and non-infective stage is called as virion whereas viroid is a separate entity which doesn't have any proteins okay now viroids uh, one very very common example of viroids is something which is called as pstv okay so that is potato spindle tuber viroid p s t v i will just write down so what happens is so most of you know how <clears throat> a, a virus infects an animal or a plant but these viroids only infect higher plants so what this potato spindle tuber viroid does is so if this is the original shape of the potato then what happens is after the infection the shape of the potato becomes kind of spindle shaped so it begins to become narrow slightly okay and what happens is finally you are left with a potato which is like this so this is called as potato spindle tuber viroid it is causing the disease in potato is this clear okay so that's it for this topic stay tuned for more mini lectures okay thanks a lot